tool pulley challenge. Here we have two pulleys, and we're going to talk about mechanical advantage. So here we have machines. We have two simple machines. We have our pulleys. And these self simple machines help us do work. So in the idea, you bring up a camper and you say, can you pick this up? And they try and pick it up. And it's two gallons of water. So it's about 16 pounds, a little bit more. And here you have 16 pounds right here of water. So it is kind of difficult to lift, especially if you're a younger camper. It might be kind of hard to lift. So in order to get this a little bit easier to lift, you put the pulleys on there. Now, I have two pulleys tied to my bucket and I have the string. Now the string's already tied to the bucket. So that means the string's already part of the system and you can see that's pretty hard to do. Right? So if I take my string and I feed it through the pulley, I'm going to learn that it's going to be a little bit easier for me to lift it up using the pulley. So what we're doing is we're redirecting the force. Instead of just lifting it straight up, we're actually pulling it this way, and then the pulley's lifting it straight up. So that will increase the distance because we're using the rope, so we have to back away a little bit farther, but it's decreasing the amount of force we have to use. So that still means we're doing the same amount of work. We're increasing the distance, decreasing the force. If you think about the simple machines, that's how they all work. A ramp will increase the distance by, instead of having lifted straight up, you can cover more distance going up a ramp. Also wheels has that whole circumference area, helps you dramatically decrease the force when trying to push them. So here we go. We have the pulley. When I pull on the pulley, it should lift the load. And it does, but it's still pretty hard. It's pretty difficult to lift it like that. So if I really want to reduce the amount of force I have to use, I have to redirect the force again. So I take the end of my rope and put it through another pulley that's tied to the bucket. Make sure that the pulley is tied to the load. In this case, it's a bucket of water. So what I did to get this thing started was I took a rope, I tied the pulley on the rope, I threw it up and over the branch, then I tied it off. So that's my one pulley here. Then I tied the rope to the bucket, tied a pulley to the bucket. Now when I pull it through, yep. you will feel the difference in how much force. Now make sure you don't get your ropes tangled up. That's the hardest part about this one, is it's very easy to get your ropes tangled up, which I do all the time. So usually I'll have a camper hold one end, and they pull it as I pull this end until it gets tight. There we go. So we have the rope tied to the bucket, through the pulley, through this pulley. on the pulley. There you go. All right, I got to pull it through here. It's definitely easier with campers helping you out and no twigs in the way. So the point of this is because you're talking about engineering. So you want to know about mechanical advantage, redirecting force, and simple machines. A lot of kids heard of pulleys, but they don't really see them work. So this is our opportunity to actually get in and see a pulley and see how it works. Now it is dangerous that they could get their fingers caught in the pulley if they go too close. So make sure they stand far back. But once you do this part, this is really easy. So you can have campers come over and lift up and down the bucket and they can see that they can lift it. It is reduced quite a bit. Now we do have other pulleys. If you wanted to do another pulley system, you would just throw another pulley over and have it to hang here. The only reason why you don't want to tie it to the same rope is because they get kind of sideways. Once they're sideways, it, the rope will fall off. So it's better to have them right next to each other instead of right on top of each other. But this is a pretty good example right here, just with two pulleys on how dramatically you can reduce the amount of force it takes to lift the load. This is like half the weight. There it is. Teaching kids about pulleys and mechanical advantage. Now you'd have the campers come over one at a time and lift it up. You know, first they can come over one at a time and try and lift the bucket and they'll probably spill a lot of it on themselves, which is part of the fun of summer. There you go. Pulleys and mechanical advantage.